If you guys like these types of videos, stay tuned throughout this video because we're about to get into it and we're about to get real. So when it comes to accumulating success, which could mean any area of your life, which means you could have had an arc in your life, for example, doesn't mean making money necessarily. But you could have had, let's say, an arc in your life. They left you. They discarded you. They didn't want you no more. And guess what you did? You decided, you decided to pull yourself up. Get healthy. Get positive. Get your mind right. Get back in the horse. You did all these things. And you feel good again. Guess what? You just accumulated, you just accumulated success. And they don't like that. Any little thing that you do, that's good. You're going to be hated for that. Because success breeds haters. It's just how it is. Anything good is going to get hate. Whether it's from one person or a million. Whether it's from 20 people or 10,000. You just never know, but when you're doing the right things, and hate, a lot of the times, too, is silent. Most of the hate guys that I have received in my life was all behind closed doors. Mostly all of it. Not one person to this day, not one, had the audacity to come up to my face to actually say something or do something. Not one time in all these years. But I heard so much stuff from other people and stuff that went on behind closed doors. People talk. And that's where most of the hate will come from. You could be a person right now doing something positive. Doing something good with your life and you might not think there's a damn person that even knows what you're doing. But trust and believe there is. And trust and believe if you had a past person in your life, let's say, that treated you bad, that did you wrong, that did you dirty. They're keeping tabs on you whether you think that or not. And they're watching everything you do. Whether you think that or not, one way or another, they are. And there may be no way for this person to do that. But best believe there is somebody that is keeping an eye on you. Just to see. And I don't know if you guys can notice it in this video, but that light behind me right now is twitching again. I'm just going to buy a whole new light. Because behind me right now is the kitchen and the sink. And there is a big light right in the middle of it that I'm going to have to replace. I don't think it's a light bulb either. I think it's the whole set. But anyways, you're really going to see people's true colors when you accumulate success and it might devastate you because it devastated me when certain things happened in the past. Does it devastate me anymore? Absolutely not because I don't want nothing to do with nobody. I don't want no hate or energy in my life. I don't care if I knew you since I was born up till now. I don't care if I came out of your vagina. If you hate me, if you don't like me, I don't like you either. And you know what I, I have to say to my haters? If you don't like me, I don't like you either. And you know why I don't like you either without even knowing who you are? Who you are? Because I already know why you don't like me. 
I already know why you don't like me. It's not because you know me. It's not because you really don't like me. It's because of your nasty ass attitude. And I already know I don't like you. Because I already know why you don't like me. And that's the truth. That's why I don't want nobody in my life with hater energy. You were dead to me. You were pathetic to me. How dare you? How dare me? No, how dare you? Grow the fuck up. I don't get hate. I just don't get it. How can you literally dislike somebody or hate somebody because they are shining in a certain area of life? That makes no sense. That has nothing to do with their personality. That has nothing to do with them doing you dirty. But yet, these salty little haters want to take it like that. They're so butthurt. They're so offended. They're so weak and brittle. I could snap them like a fucking toothpick between my fingers. You know what I mean? It makes no sense. And that's exactly why I don't like you automatically if you don't like me. Because I already know why you don't like me. Because guess what? I don't do nothing I shouldn't do to anybody in particular. And God forbid, let's say I do. Now I might understand why you don't like me. But guess what? I don't do people like that. I didn't do that to nobody. But yet, for some divine reason... You hate me. I'm not even going to say I hate you. Because I don't hate you. I just don't like you. And I don't want nothing to do with you. You were dead to me. I feel no emotion towards you, good or bad. You were nothing to me. That's what it is. And that's a mindset I want all you guys to have. If somebody hates on you, don't even get like aggressive towards them. Don't even get like you want to fight back with them. You cut it off. They are now dead to you. You waste no energy. You waste no thoughts. You waste no nothing on these individuals. They're just dead. In the pond somewhere. <coughs> now... There's people who get undeserved hate, and there's people who get hate that they rightfully deserve, and there is a massive fucking difference in that. Massive. Somebody does do you very wrong and dirty, of course, you're going to feel that way towards them. But yet, you were still a good person, and you did nothing wrong, in particular, to anybody. In fact, you did good things. You did positive things, and yet, people are hating on you. You know you're doing something right when you do things like this. And that's facts. We don't hate these people either. We just don't want nothing to do with them. They have their own problems and their own issues to take care of. And I will say this, people, a few people have given me weird looks before. Like they're just looking at you like, it's like they almost can't believe that you are who you are. And it's like it makes them look at themselves. And it's like, fuck, it's like, damn, that's your own fault, buddy. It's nobody's fault but your own. You have that type of energy because you're not even focused the way you should be. It makes no sense. You're looking at everybody else. Look at your fucking self in the mirror and fucking do something about it. That's my advice to you. And that's all I got to say about that. You're going to get mad at everybody else. Look at yourself and get mad at that. And change something. Do something. That's the worst type of energy ever. It's the most hater-like type of energy ever. It's really all hate within themselves. And honestly, at the end of the day, this hate you may receive 
it is love at the end of the day because it's emotion they're showing emotion towards you they care enough that's love but they don't want to express love to you they don't want to do that they would rather it's almost like it's love but it's fear it's almost like they just don't know how to act around you they can't love you they're incapable of doing it that's that that's just the way they act around you the hate just comes out naturally because that's who they are that's the only thing they can do it's like a natural reaction to hate if your natural reaction is to hate on other people I just feel sorry for you to be honest you really need to get your shit together and you really need to do something get on your high horse put in the work because we ain't sitting around all day thinking about what everybody else is doing we're surrounding our minds with positivity with the right people doing the right things and staying focused on our on our own lives and our own missions and doing things like this but yet these people are watching everybody else's lives and watching all what everyone else is doing and they're just comparing their own life to everybody else's how the fuck could you do this whenever I was a young kid I wasn't comparing my life to all these rappers and all these professional sports players that are making millions and saying fuck these guys that should be me no you look up to these guys wow look at what they're doing that's amazing instead of hating because it's fear because you can't do it that's why you need to look in the mirror and reassess some things and go back to the drawing board do something do something figure out what you're going to do and do it because everybody has skill everybody has talent and you don't even have to do something extra just get happy if you can just be happy with yourself and with other people you're set it's all you need to do you're in a much better place if you can do that than be hating on everybody else for no damn reason you know what I mean Killing me, bro. I have to get that shit done tomorrow. And next week, I'll be picking up that vehicle. That's going to be a lot of stress as well off of my shoulders right now. Because my money is still gone. A lot of it, too. I don't have the vehicle. But it's coming. It's coming. I'll just breathe a little bit better whenever I have the damn thing, when I'm in it, you know? But anyways, guys, I hope you guys got the message. I try to keep it as real and raw as possible, whether it's hurting people's feelings or not. It does not matter at the end of the day, because I bet almost any money from every single video, at least one person's feelings are getting hurt. And I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm not sorry. Because you know what this channel is. We're keeping it real. Because we're real people. We like this stuff. I like this stuff. I listen to stuff all my life like this. We love this. We can't get enough, right? We live by the truth. We do truth. That's how we get better. You can't get better if you don't want to hear the truth. Because you're hiding from the truth. You're hiding from your own mistakes. You're hiding from your own flaws. You're hiding from... The things you really should be doing right right so I'm gonna get it here now I'm gonna get this chicken cooked and hopefully I don't fall asleep while I'm cooking it but shouldn't do that because I got a timer but anyways do that then go to bed and wake up tomorrow and do some more stuff plus the gym is open tomorrow that's good 
it was nice to take a couple days off. I'm pretty sure it's what I needed. And um, we'll be back at it. So until next time, guys, peace out.